Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson as he presides over a case where the defendant has been charged a $200,000 bond because of his reckless endangerment on the highways during a high-speed pursuit. And the prosecutor says it's way too low, and the judge ends up agreeing with her on that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Cross case of the people versus Sheldon Underwood. Nicole Hughes on behalf of the people. Andrew Bannis, assistant public defender. With and on behalf of Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood, please state your name for the court. Sheldon Underwood. Yeah, Frank. What are we doing? Your Honor, uh, Mr. Underwood has two two requests. One pertains to bond, but the first request is for a one week adjournment to hire private counsel. He informs me that uh, his family has already reached out and is in contact with uh, one of the local law firms. Well, at least this guy is not a sovereign citizen. I mean, he's actually wanting his own attorney, which is a nice change of pace, considering that sovereign citizens tend to want to represent themselves. And I'm not calling this guy a sovereign citizen. He certainly doesn't act like it, but he still gets an 8 out of 10 on the stupidity scale because of all the... Uh, charges he's gotten. If he had been a sovereign citizen, then that would have broken through the uh, scale. In fact, it would probably been a 9,000 or something like that. Are they going to be able to accomplish that in a week? I did discuss that with him, um, and he believes so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm only going to do a journey. Well, I'm going to adjourn it to the 21st, if that's what he's doing, because he's only going to get one adjournment to get counsel. So probable cause conference, September 21st, 2023, 9 a.m. Or Zoom by it indicates, yes, ask the bond. Thank you. Um, Mr. Underwood is currently held on a $200,000 bond on this case, no other cases. Uh, he is requesting a reduction to a 10 percent that's still quite significant i understand the charges are uh serious uh in terms of the the fleeing and there's also a third count relating to the vehicle um his main concern is to um get back to work if that twenty thousand dollar bond could even be posted and continue making his child support payments response well, for me, I would say, uh, well, since this idiot took uh, several uh, police departments on an interstate uh, joyride, I would say, yeah, don't uh, reduce it. In fact, you really need to make sure that it gets doubled or tripled or even more, because this guy is a complete and utter tool at this point. Your Honor, please let me know when you're convinced and tell me to stop talking because I could go on for days about this one. First, the defendant yeah, okay. does have another <laughs> he does have another case. He has a friend of the court bench warrant right now. So in terms of him wanting to get a, to continue to pay his child support, he's got a bench warrant for his arrest for failure to support. He uh, right now the bench warrant has a bond of five hundred and thirty six dollars for past due payments. The defendant's bond is set in the amount of $200,000. Uh, I charged this case. I requested $250,000, and I am renewing that request at this time. The defendant took multiple interstate police agencies on a high-speed chase beginning in Toledo, Ohio. He fled from Toledo all the way up to Ann Arbor. He The, the third charge that Mr. Bannis mentioned, the thing that involved the vehicle, yeah, that was when the defendant drove his car directly into a Pittsfield Township occupied patrol car, which is an FA on a, on a police officer. The defendant was fleeing from Ohio with an Ohio State helicopter following him into Ohio. Pittsfield, the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office, as well as Ann Arbor, had to get involved in this chase. 
he was doing speeds as fast as 114 miles per hour on Michigan Avenue. He wasn't, e not that that's even part of a speed limit, but he wasn't even on a highway when he was doing 114 miles per hour. In terms of him being a danger to, the, to society, his reckless fleeing and his intentional um, assault on a police officer while fleeing uh, certainly demonstrates that he's a danger to society. And then, of course, he's a flight risk, given that he took multiple jurisdictions on an interstate uh, police chase. Um, he ditched his car on US 23, tried to get out and run. Uh, when the police found him, thankfully, he was compliant and didn't continue to assault them. Um, and they were able to take him into custody at that time. He is... Um, Sorry, he, when they searched his vehicle, they did not recover a firearm, but they did recover a magazine that was empty, did not have any ammunition in it. Again, the people are requesting at this time that his bond be increased to the initial request of 250,000. After all that, he wants the court to take mercy on him and reduce the bond amount? No, that's definitely not going to happen. When he rammed the uh, Pittsfield officers, were any of the officers injured? Thank goodness they were not. The uh, officer was not injured. His car was uh, he was his car was damaged to the extent that he was unable to continue to pursue the defendant, though. May I make two very brief minor points? Yeah, at this point, I really don't think it'll make a difference, dude. I mean. The, all the stuff he did, yeah, you might as well just, uh, well, dig a hole to China. It'll be much more effective. Go for it. First, um, at least according to ex-jail, I think the friend of the court warrant has been resolved. Oh. But um, Ms. Hughes might have some information uh, that I'm not aware of. Um, as I read the police report, it, and this is no doubt a factual dispute, but as I read the officer's statement, the and I'm not blaming the officer in any way, but as I read that statement, the officer hit the defendant's car. Now, how that hurt that how that happened, I but that's how I read it. That the and I'm how not does saying that help you. He, they're not, on a high speed chase from Ohio. So the I'm, officer hits his vehicle. Maybe to stop it and save other people. I'll let you go on. But go ahead. No, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Damn! Motion for bond reduction is denied. I will, and quite frankly, given the circumstances as laid out by the people, I think the two hundred thousand dollar bond is 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 set very low i don't even think that the two hundred fifty thousand dollar bond is appropriate because the from ohio to ann arbor all of the individuals that would have been on that roadway as well as once he got himself on michigan avenue doing those high speeds he put all of those people in danger he put all of the officers that had to pursue him in danger um and for no reason. And at any given point in time, given those speeds, somebody who could have been just out could have been killed. Court will set bond in the amount of $500,000 cash surety. Thank you, Honor. Well, now, uh, of course, this was going to work out this way. I mean, why would you uh, reduce the bond of somebody who committed all that mayhem? It's only going to encourage others to do the same thing if there's no punishment or reprisal for this kind of thing. So, dude, I doubt that you'll be able to pay any amount of that uh, $500,000 bond to be able to get out and, uh, well, wreak havoc once again. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.